Hi students, welcome to today's video. Today we can start the chapter Input in Java. So from this name you can understand about this chapter the, way, the different ways of giving inputs to a Java program. So actually there are three ways input using initialization, input using parameter and input using scanner class. So already you know what is initialization. See here you can see two variables int a and a and b. So here we are declaring two variables int a comma b. So now there is no values in the variables a and b. So we can assign a equal to 5 then b equal to 6. So this way of giving input to the program is known as input using initialization. As you, as you can see an example here. See in this example we are assigning, we are declaring and initializing two variables. That way is known as input using initialization. Then input using parameter means we are declaring the variables as the parameter of a method. So during the execution the program need will ask for the value of this variable means here the example in this example total minutes. So the total for the variable total minutes we need to give value. That is the second way of giving input. Then the third way is using a scanner class. So we can discuss all these three ways of giving inputs to a program in detail. So before that we can learn comments in Java. So as you can see in the image there are three different ways of commenting in Java. So actually comments means the description of the program that is known as comments means if the if the programmer wants to describe one statement so he can des uh, he can describe in a line so he can describe in a single line or he can describe uh, the program or uh, or a statement in multiple lines that is known as comments actually these comments will be ignored by the compiler we know in a Java program there will have many statements. All the statements will be compiled by the compiler. But the, com uh, the compiler will not compile the comments. The comments will be ignored by the compiler. So the types of comments are single line comment, multi line comment and documentation comment. Single line comment means the comment or the sentence will be in the only in single lines. That is known as single line comments. Multi line comment means that we can make the comment in multiple lines. Then documentation comment is similar to multi line comments. Then the need of documentation comment in order to make an external document regarding the program. That is the use of documentation comment. Student here, here you can see the single line comments, the main method declaration. So the uh, single line comments will begin from two forward slash. The sentence followed by two forward slash is known as single line comment. Then how can we make the multi line comment? A single forward slash followed by asterisk. Then that's, uh, that comments will end with uh, an asterisk symbol followed by a single forward slash. That is known as multi line comment. And for documentation comment, here you can see a single for a forward slash followed by two asterisk symbol. Then it will end with a one asterisk symbol followed by a single forward slash. That is known as documentation comment. See students, 
in this example we can describe this line in a single line declares two variables so if you are clicking on the enter it will not be comment see here you can see the color changes so declare to declare two variables that sentence only the comments whatever we are typing on the next line will not count as comment so in order to make mul comments in multi lines we need to use multi line comment which will be which will be started with the one forward slash followed by an asterisk symbol then whatever we want to write we can write here then here we can write initializes two variables so this is a comment so similarly we can make comments in multiple lines then we can make documentation comment also this is documentation comment this is So this is how we can make documentation comment. See, after executing, there uh, the compiler shows no syntax error messages. So students, we can discuss the first way of giving input to the program, which is input using initialization. So as we have learned, we can declare and initialize the variables like this int length equal to 3 width equal to 4 so we are declaring and initializing the variables from the program so that is the first way of giving input to the program then the second way is input using parameter means see suppose here we have two variables length and length and width we are doing operations on these two variables length and width so instead of declaring and initializing like this in this program we can declare length and width as the parameter of this main method so we can see an example so here an example shows program 7.3 write a program that uses parameters as the form of input to convert minutes to into hours so we can discuss this program so the program you can see here see the total minutes the variable total minutes we are declaring as the parameter of the method conversion then the remaining statements are we are declaring two variables hours and minutes then the total minutes will be divided with 60 because of the division operator we are getting the quotient so the, that quotient will be hours here we are the ended minutes is 139 so 139 divided by 60 the quotient will be 2 and the remainder will be 19 so that the value 2 will be copied to hours according to this line means hours equal to total minutes divided by 60 so the quotient will be stored in the stored in the variable hours and the remainder remainder will be 19 so 19 will be stored stored in the variable minutes so that's how we can do this program so what it will print it will print there are two hours two means the value of the variable hours and 19 minutes 19 that is the value of the variable minutes in 130 139 minutes so what is 139 the value which we have given to the variable total minutes that total minutes actually the parameter of this method conversion then before learning the third way which is input using scanner class we need to learn the packages
students in java there is many packages packages means for example a file in our computer there will have folders and files we can create many folders in a folder so that is an example of packages there will have a main package called java in that main package we can have many sub packages each sub package contains predefined classes such as date class scanner class string class these kinds of predefined classes are stored in each sub packages that is known as packages so collection of all these classes such as string scanner then date is known as packages <coughs> we can see some common packages in java students here here you can see the figure 7.2 actually java this java means the main package this main package contains these sub packages such as lang util io <coughs> awt net and applet so there will have many sub packages each sub packages contains different classes so according to our use we can import the corresponding package in our program then we can use the corresponding class and and its methods see we can just take an we can just discuss a real life example see students if you want to uh, dismantle a vehicle so you you may need to use different tool different tools such as span aids then uh, what else screw driver then different types of tools you have to use suppose there is a big boss see this is a big box in order to dismantle a vehicle we need to we need to use this toolbox so this toolbox contains many sub boxes so these sub sub boxes contains different types of tools this first box contains spanners uh, for removing one part of a vehicle and this second box contains for removing another part of a vehicle means it will be double end spanners and this will be screw drivers and this will be uh, for removing electronic items and this this is for removing the tires so different types of spanners contains in each box so when we need to remove the tires we need to open this main box first then inside the main box we can take this sub box actually what this sub box contains this sub box contains the tools for removing the tires so similarly we can say this large box is a large box is the main package which is java and these sub packages we can relate it to the lang package means the sub boxes contains sub bo sub boxes we can relate it to lang package util package and io io package and so on so according to our need we can open uh, the needed sub boxes in order to take the tools similarly in java according to our use we can we can import the needed needed classes from the needed classes from the corresponding sub packages in this table you can see some uh, examples of packages and its description means this lang package contains primitive data types string and math functions and util package will provide the classes for printing and scanning means here we are getting the scanner class from this util package then there are many packages such as io package aw package net package and applet package for various purposes see in this figure 7.3 we can see an example of package see this java is the main package this main package contains 
many sub packages for example lang and util in that sub packages there are classes like math class boolean class string class then in util package scanner class will be there date class will be there then calendar class will be there each classes contains predefined methods similarly this math class contains the uh, function abs then sqrt function the use of each method is entirely different then scanner class contains the next method next int method next float method and so on so once we have imported the scanner class in our program we can use all these next next int and uh, the and the uh, some methods of this scanner class students this program explains the uses of package see write a program to display the current date and time using the date class of the java util package so this program is to print today's date using the predefined date class so if we are writing suppose we are writing a program to print the date today's date without using the predefined date class so we need to write uh, a big program the length of the program will be maybe very it will be a lengthier program so we can avoid the lengthier program and we can make the use of predefined date class in order to print the today's date so what we are doing is we can use the predefined date class so the main package contains the sub package util then that sub package contains the date class so what we are creating we are creating the object of date class which is my date using the new operator as you already know the new operator will create uh, the object of object so that object will contain the current date so using a println function we are printing the my date so what it will print current here we are printing current date and time is then it will print friday october 26 and whatever the time the, those details will be printed because of the predefined date class so that is the one way of using packages in our program see in this example as you can see we are using java.util.date this statement what happens is this statement java.util.date that statement will import means by the help of that statement we can use the date class in our program see in this figure we are simply creating without using java.util.date we are we, we are trying to create the object of date class so it is not possible because this name is non qualified we cannot do like this that's why it is showing the error means if you are using java.util.date or if you are importing the date class in our program then only we can create the object of date class so that why that's why this error is cannot find simple error is showing here here we can see the way of importing the needed classes in our program see by the help of the keyword import we can import the needed predefined class in our program see import the syntax is like this import space package 1 dot package 2 dot package 3 dot class if we are importing the scanner class how can how will be the import statement import space we can write here it will be import space java dot util dot scanner so this statement will import the predefined scanner class in our program if you want to import the date class how can we import import 
this java dot util dot date semicolon so this is two statements will import the corresponding predefined classes in our program so this is how we can import the predefined class in our program so students as you can see here see here we are importing the same program means we are printing the printing today's date so by writing import space java dot util dot date this statement will import the date class predefined date class in our program so once we have imported the date class we can create the object of that class which is date so date space my date equal to new date so this new operator creates the object of date class in this program then we can print the value of my date that will print today's date here you can see the output so students here you can see another statement import java dot util dot star so what will happen instead of using scanner or we have seen that example import space java dot util dot scanner or do or util dot date so this is the first statement will import scanner class in our program the second statement means import space java dot util dot date the second statement will import date package if we are using import space java dot util dot star if you are using star all the classes in the util package will be imported in our program means by executing the first statement it is importing only the scanner class from the utility package means util package then the second statement will import only the date class from the util package if you are using import space java dot util dot star statement this statement will import all the classes all the predefined classes of util package in our program so that is the difference so students by the by using this packages we can have many advantages see the advantage of java is code reusability that is the main use of main advantage of packages we can use the code we can reuse the code see actually the scanner class what is scanner class scanner class is a predefined class or the date class is predefined in that class we uh, there is many predefined functions we can reuse that predefined class and predefined methods so that is the main advantage reusability then by using packages we can implement encapsulation that is the another advantage encapsulation means in packages we are holding different classes such as in utility package we can we can see scanner class is there then date class is there similarly in a single package we can have multiple classes so that is known as encapsulation by the help of packages we can apply encapsulation so these are the advantages of using packages we can learn the scanner class in detail in the sec in the next video